Hi. Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. We are in the holiday week 2021 here. And so I'm going to have my mug. My Santa mug is filled with coffee. Although our talk topic today is about benefit or benefits. And that can be, this is a topic that can apply anytime. Now, if you know me and you've been connected to Sunday Morning Coffee, the podcast for well over a year now, you know that words are really powerful and we talk about the power of words. That's what inspires me to jump in and channel energy about the topic. And I literally do channel and so do you. You're just not consciously maybe aware of it all the time, but you are channeling energy, my friends. You are channeling energy. You are receiving it in, receiving it in and you are making it mean something whether or not you know it or not, when you're interpreting somebody else's mood or attitude, just by the way they look or how they're feeling, it's not just nonverbal skills we're talking about here, peeps. We're talking about empathic energy reading, and that's what you're doing. So when we're talking about benefit or benefits today, we are going to talk about the amplification of what is perceived as good. And using the concept of the benefit to help you to discern what energies, what situations or circumstances, relationships, jobs, et cetera, investments are good and right for you at the time. Good doesn't mean, yes, only this and everything else is bad. Good means, oh, this feels good. It's an acknowledgement of a multitude of different kinds of feelings you might be feeling that fall into the category of good. It might be peaceful. It might be loving. It might be joyful. It might be funny and humorous. It might be Hmm, challenging, intellectual, curious. All of those things could fall into the category of good. And when we consider the benefit or benefits in our lives, it's something that um, has a couple of different ways that we can talk about this. Okay, so good, good feelings, energy. We'll talk about beneficial, right? What is helpful to you? What is in alignment for you? We can also talk about this in a way where benefit can be discernment as in use, utilizing benefit as a power of a choice mm, to help you with choice and choosing. I wanna go there. I like that. I like that. That feels good. Some of you may not recognize or realize that I am also a psychic and I'm a medium. And because of that, I communicate and connect with a variety of different spiritual guides, not just afterlife celebrity guests, not just your grandma, but also um, God, goddess aspects, saints, ascended masters, guides from all different kinds of walks of, of, of culture, religion, just transcends that, as well as um, energy of archangels. And so I work a lot with archangels and in private session, I do a lot with angels. That's like the first base of connection and contact that I usually have, especially with a new person that I'm, I'm working with because um, they're just easy. They're super easy to connect with. They're super easy to connect with. So I just want to make sure I acknowledge right now <laughs> that I feel Michael, St. Michael for some of you. And for me, an old friend. Archangel Michael has been an old friend for a very long time, and I should share my story of how I met him. Maybe I'll do that. I do have a fairy grasshopper, fairy grasshopper YouTube channel, if you're not aware of that, where I talk about all sorts of psychic stuff, my psychic experiences. I do card readings there to help you learn how to do intuition for yourself and readings for yourself, because people need that. You need that, and you can do it. You don't need me to do it for you. You can do it. But we do card readings and we have um, intuitive talk topics, but I just want to acknowledge Archangel Michael right now because I feel his energy very blue energetically and very clairvoyant. So I see and I identify color with a lot of deep meaning. And so for me, Archangel Michael is my ride or die, sort of my tried and true is what I would say. He's my tried and true. And angels, I personify them. I give them characteristics and personality traits because that's how my mind has been able to accept them from day one. So that when I became psychic, I didn't think I was crazy nuts because I could adapt the energy into forms and, and understandable, palatable um, expressions through people, like through traits, like personality trait, like fun or loyal or true, that kind of thing, right? So that's how, that's how I do that. So uh, if you see blue orbs 
in this video, or if you get a hue of blue in my aura, if you read energy, or if you actually see energy and stuff, and that's why I just want to make sure I acknowledge that because I know some of you do that. <laughs> and because I'm doing videos sometimes for Sunday morning coffee, usually it's an audio, but I've been doing videos lately when I feel like it, when I'm up for it. And I think um, at the end of the year here, I'm, I think it's a good idea to see, for us to see each other as we're having our Sunday morning coffee. So let's talk about benefit in terms of choice. How can you use benefit, the concept of benefits to, to make a choice or decision? I think the whole term of pros and cons and, and being analytical is kind of out. That is so 2019. Because the pros and cons and the analytical mind, although it serves us, there's a difference, I think, between being intellectual and utilizing your brain power and being too overly analytical and focused on details and minute subtleties, wherein energetically we have a huge source of information from our hearts, from our empathic awareness now, especially in the last two years, everybody's increased their empath empathic awareness, which has caused a lot of overload, anxiety, depression, and acknowledgement of mental health autism, um, different kinds of sensory processing things, um, um, lots of different um, ways to try to understand how sensory we are and processing of energy, lots of different types of things have come up. So we need to resource that. It's not a bad thing. If you're aware of something that you can harness and utilize and transmute that energy into something that's super helpful to you, we're going to use it. And so that's what we need to do now. So being Overtly analytical isn't a bad thing, especially if you're like a mathematician or if you're doing um, crisis management constant, um, if your job requires that or if that's um, the type of work that you do, that's a bad thing. I'm not suggesting that's a bad thing. However, we've overly relied on the mind and the traditional old structures of the only value is your worth based upon the job that you have and the education level that you have and the the what you can provide an offer to a company that's how you get promoted and but that's not that doesn't work in personal interpersonal relationships it might work as at to some extent as a provider like being able to produce the income to support your family because of your mind utilizing that as an asset but it's an asset not the whole basket of goodies okay it's one part of you. The rest of you is your heart, your soul, and your body. And when you work with me in private session, because I do private session as a, a psychic intuitive life coach, I do work with people privately. Yes. If you're interested in that, check out my Facebook page. You can actually book a session with me in the new year. Um, I usually work with people on a monthly basis, like consistently, but you can book a session in January. We can connect if you'd like to do that. Check out Bridget Inspired. Bridget Inspired on Facebook. There's a link below here. All right, you can book right from that place. But the energy of having to only source from one place, like your mind, being a smart, the smart one, or being the talented one in like dance or some physical way, or the beautiful one in some embodied way. Um, or being the one that's so feeling and tenderhearted and wear your heart on your sleeve and so loving and kind. You don't have to choose one, okay? Because you're all, your body, mind, heart, and soul. And when I'm working with you in private session or when I do groups, I'm sorry, this is driving me crazy. When I do groups, I'm sensory too. I'm so sensory. I'm really loving the flannels, you guys. I gotta say, oh, I discovered flannels like two months ago and I am so getting addicted. Like flannels are my new hoodie. I love them. I love them. I love them. In fact, I should probably button this one up a little more so it doesn't hang off my shoulder. All right. Ooh, feels good. See, so distracted. ADD. I have ADD. Oh my gosh. Is that another thing? Oh, that's because your mind has been overactive and over analytical and over blah, 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 focused and stimulated for so long that it's hard to focus and function. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just really good at receiving lots and lots of stuff. So we can use discernment to help with that, to shift that. Um, I think the benefits now of being aware that we are much more empathic is something that is coming full circle and being talked about in just normal conversations with people. Like the word empath is like just a normal thing now. It's like how yoga used to be. 
like not like remember chiropractic care and yoga and like natural therapies and stuff used to be like this taboo stuff and now it's like normal mainstream same with intuition it used to be like super taboo now it's getting more mainstream like meditation a little more mainstream it depends on what types you do etc if you say psychic then people might still go what? Mm, what especially grandma she might not know what that means that's okay but the concept of using benefit, the benefits, the concept of benefits. Um, I want to, the reason why I brought up the mind is because it feels like when we make decisions or choices, we've been taught to do pros and cons, put things in two categories, good or bad. And yeah, that can help sort things out. But perhaps there's a new way as we step into a new year and a new way of being and a new way of understanding this energy thing and incorporating it more into our lives. And that includes in our brain using energetic information with our brain, not just the heart empathy energy, but the solar plexus, the spirit energy, the intuition, intuition, emotion, um, sensory information, let's say that intuition and sensory information with the mind. Wow, what a partnership that would be. Hello, triad, awesome. What if we just say, let's talk about the benefits and talk about two options in forms of the question of benefits. And then ultimately, when you list the benefits of both scenarios, both situations, both jobs, both locations for living, et cetera, both choices you have, just two choices. If you can narrow it into two, it's probably good. Three is okay, four is a lot, but if you can narrow things down, sometimes you have to start with the multiple, here's five choices, and then get down a little, little, or little, and list the benefits. List the benefits, go through the benefits. Tick, 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 tick. Now, the benefits, it's not the sheer number, the quantity of benefit, it is the quality or the levity of the benefit also. So while one thing might only have three benefits and the other has seven, the three are so heavily weighted by you. This is where energetically you feel that and you know that this is important. This takes precedence over this. Wherein before it was very quantitative and the mind is very analytical and mathematical. And, it, and, and yes, it can understand weights, of course, but that gets too, um, when you just look at a list and you see seven benefits versus three, it just instinctively feels like, it seems like this one, like the mind would just focus on this one. The idea or the concept of benefits or benefit is about the goodness and the amplification of, of that which is already existing inside you that is very much in alignment with whatever that is that you are considering. The, the, the part of you that is so in alignment with that, that just comes open and just is like, woo, like leans toward it. That's the thing. That brings you the most benefit, that brings you the most alignment. So you can use the term benefit like, like you would use the term abundant, okay? Like you would use the term good, like you would use the term most valuable or in alignment. You see? So I'm liking this term benefit. It's interesting because, okay, so I will share with you if you don't, if you don't know me very well, uh, my previous career path, I worked in uh, human resources. I was actually a staffing administrator at a large public, public sector organization. <laughs> yeah, been there, done that whole job work thing, you know, the whole 50 hours a week thing and all that, right? Yeah, been there, done that. And when I hear the term benefit or benefits, I think about all of the complicated numbers and heavy decisions that people have to make around choosing what's best for their families, what's best for themselves based upon what could potentially happen that's bad. So when I've heard the term benefit before, benefits, you guys might be thinking about that open enrollment, you're choosing your benefits, you think about health insurance, or you think about time off or vacation time, it, it kind of feels like a mixed bag when you feel this word sometimes, because it can feel like, yeah, choice, it can definitely, benefit could definitely feel like a cho like choice, like, oh, I have choice, because I can, like a little bit of freedom, right? But it also can feel like pressure, because there's an important need to almost predict the future to know how much you're going to need in that 
that HSA account, that health savings account or pre-tax dollar stuff or whatever, in case your kid needs braces or in case there's an unexpected surgery and you have to pay for that out of pocket, the deductible, or in case this, or in case that it's like, you're forced into a position to think about the worst case scenarios constantly. We are constantly forced into positions to think about that. So when you hear the term benefit or benefits, I don't want you to think of it as a complicated thing. I want you to think of it as abundance of choices, not tied to an emotional response or reaction, but coming from a place of sensory energetic information and to make decisions based upon the whole of you, body, mind, heart, and soul. Like, so when I, I get asked by my partner to help kind of feel into intuitively how much do we want to put into our, our pre-tax dollars thing, you know, we can take it out of paycheck every week, that kind of thing for, for medical expenses, you know, it could be chiropractic care, dental, it could be eyeglasses, it could be anything. I just got eyeglasses. Yay. Just use my last bit for this year. These aren't my new ones. I'll have to show you my new ones. I'll show you my new ones on Fairy Grasshopper when I get them. But I get asked, hey, can you feel into this? What do you think? And I usually kind of can feel into a number and we just choose that and we go with that. I don't go, okay, well, um, you're, you're getting to the age where you're going to need to have this, this, and this. And I might want to have, I might need to have surgery on my eye again this year, which I don't. I just went to the eye doctor. I don't, thank goodness. But so it's like, I'm not planning for anything massive or major. And why? Because why would I need to, why would I want to jump forward and try to pretend like, or um, like I, number one, actually know what's going to happen in the future? Because even though you're psychic, you don't, there's not a solid certainty about the future. There's not that. There's chunks and blocks of time that you can predict and feel into energetically with themes, but you cannot say exactly this and this and this and this. You might get pieces and particles and lots of different psychics, if you got them together, might have different pieces and particles. Yeah, like a panel discussion would probably be the best scenario to kind of have a sense of what's coming up in the, the future year. But, and you can feel overarching themes, totally can do that 100%. That's what energy is, but it's not exact. And it's not very specific, like a dollar amount. You can't match that, but you can feel into the energy of the numbers and what feels right. And that's it, because you can feel what's too much, and what's too little. What's too much, what's too little. And then you keep going up, up, up until you go, oh, 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 right here. That's how it works. So there's a lot of benefits in feeling into the energy of choice, feeling into the abundance of opportunity, but also there's a requirement of you to let go of some of the pressures or stressors that come with that sometimes and what that, the term even benefit or benefits means to you, okay? And it doesn't mean you win and I lose or I lose and you win, or I am I was wrong about that. It doesn't mean I was wrong about that. If I make a decision that I feel is gonna be the best benefit and it doesn't turn out to be as beneficial as I thought it was, it doesn't mean I'm wrong. It doesn't mean I'm wrong. It doesn't mean that at all. I made a choice. And for making a choice, I'm right. Because do you know how many people do not make choices and they stay stuck in the same relationship and they stay stuck in the same job and all they do is complain and they numb and they blame their old past circumstances that they're still living in for what they can't do in the future when really they're the one. They're the only one that can change that. They're the only one that can identify the benefits of moving forward and start to take tiny little steps toward that forward, toward the change that they want, toward the life that they'd rather have instead of still living the, in the present like they, who they were in the past. You're different every day, every single day. And the world should get the benefit of who you are today. I want the benefit of who you are today. Don't you want the benefit of who I am today, especially when I'm showing up to record for you? I would hope so. You don't want Bridget from five, seven years ago. Trust me. Yeah, I have so much more to offer and share with you. And energetically, it's easier to tap in, probably for you to watch and for me to share. Lots of benefits in progress. Mm -hmm. All right, my friends, thank you so much for being here on Above Life channel on YouTube for Sunday morning coffee with Bridget. I hope you've enjoyed our conversation today. Cheers to you.
if you're celebrating the holiday season, I hope you have a safe holiday. I hope it's peaceful. I hope you can find some merry moments, not over the top stuff, just kind of mellow. That's how I'm feeling right now. I only put up one Christmas tree. I usually put up two. And it's a little more toned down this year, even, even though um, I feel like I could get together with family. Um, we do have a little bit of uh, cold stuff going through my house. Mm -hmm. My partner's pretty sick with the cold and I not really comfortable at this point having people over, but I'm going to bring in some energies of like this mellowness, mellow Mary, mellow Mary-ness. How about that? Mellow merriment. How about that? <laughs> like hot chocolate and Christmas movies and Christmas songs, which I have going all in my, the background in my house, in my kitchen, I have it going on my Bose speaker. I have just constantly, it's my um, tablets connected to it. And I just constantly have uh, Christmas music going in the background. It's just instrumental, but, and decorations around the house and the banisters and the railings are decorated and this kid stockings are hung up and that's been in place for a long time. So you can see pictures if you're curious about my house at the holidays on Instagram at Bridget Inspired, if you're curious. So, and I do read your comments there. It's easy to respond to you there more so than on YouTube right now, I think. But so I wish you a mellow, <laughs> mellow holiday and moments of merriment. How about that? All right. And I will see you on, right after the holidays here on Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. I might be in, do an audio. We'll see. If I get that cold thing, I will not be able to record. Not a video. So I might have to pre-record that. We'll have to see. Hopefully I'll stay healthy though. Hopefully you will too. All right. So I hope I've inspired your spirit today, filled you with some hope, encouraged you to live your life. After all, that's the point of Above Life channel on YouTube and Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube encourage you to live your life it's your life after all so live it just love it thanks for being here